All right, guys, what's up? It's me, Justin Omoe, here with a quick video. This is on consolidating. Now, if you've seen my videos way back, I keep saying consolidate this, consolidate that when it comes to mixing and mastering. Well, this is what we have to do with it. Like, this is what the purpose is. Now, if you could look in the playlist right here, um, notice there's a lot of patterns along with a lot of nothing in between. Um, that's basically, you know, spaces where that instrument is not played or the, in this case, the vocals is not being said. Like, let's say here. Nobody should that came some. Yeah, there's nothing right there. That means that, of course, there's nothing there, but <laughs> we have to fill that in. This is where a consolidating comes in. Um, usually, if you don't consolidate and you just send your tracks like just like this, like you render out this file only and these files only thing is everything's going to be like this where these will be like over here and this go over there and basically that messes up everything it's it's just not going to be great when it comes to mixing the sounds because then the mixing engineer has to do everything like find the right spot where you want it and sometimes we don't even get up um we don't even get like a draft or you know, a placement showing. So <laughs> we're going to have a good three hour fun just finding out how to do that. So this is how you consolidate files. First of all, we have MIDI files, MIDI files. Uh, oh, shoot. I got to put on everything. Bop, bop. All these automation files. I'll talk about it right after. Yeah, the MIDI files, they're not audio files. They're data files that plays the audio is think of it like a trigger, like a button on a game controller. Of course, the audio files that you can't hear again because these automations. Okay. And lastly, the automation. Now, what automation does is basically it takes something you command inside the mixer. So for this, it's the intro, intro right here, the volume envelope. So the volume fader right here, It'll automate. Yeah, it's a mind of a murderer. Just, just in case you don't know, I gotta, you know, put it on everyone's level. Level. So yes, basically, when it consolidates, it takes all the audio and the MIDI files and turn them into, of course, audio. But they basically paste it all together, so it's all in the same time. Uh, with automation, it reads what the insert is saying. But, you know, auto automation is not going to have a sound itself. It's basically like a command to another sound. So, yes. Base. Oh, okay. I keep saying basically I got to stop. Got to stop. Okay. So, what we do is we have everything in the mixer. If you don't know how to mix, like, put it into the mixer. This is FL Studio 12, by the way, if you did not know. Take, basically, uh, take the track and put it into the right slot. If not... Just click the track button and it'll open, it'll put it into a new insert. Say like 18 is not used, it'll put it in there. I'm not going to do that because everything I have is put in the right spot for now. Um, and yeah, if you want to put everything as a group, we will have to go to the pattern window. What, what is this one? No, no, no. Oh, uh, yeah, here it is. We have to highlight everything, go into the mixer and then press control shift and l that'll put everything into the mixer matter of fact i'm gonna do that right now because i'll i'll explain why control shift l now you see it put everything in here whoops um so yeah everything is in here now so if i hit play yeah it's a mind of a murderer yeah it's a mind of a murderer yo you went nobody with a body. So yeah, everything went from from in where it was supposed to be into here. But you know, yeah. Anyways, um. So yeah, once everything is inside of the insert, you would have to press or let, let me go file export wave or Control R. You would hit that. Uh, let's go ahead and make another thing. And here. Let's just name it Murd Test and then enter. Enter. 
There we go. And basically that. Wave file, save, and all right, here we go. Now, this is where it's critical. Make sure it's wave, make sure it's full song, make sure it's on leave tail. Because if you put rap, it'll basically put what's at the end in the front, like the end of the tail, the end side where nothing's being played, and it'll put it in the front, which is not something you want in a song. You will want that in a loop. Cut remainder basically chops the end. It's like forget your reverb, forget whatever sound is coming out. Just cut it. Wave bit depth. Now, this is one thing that a lot of, you know, different digital audio workstations, they do and don't have like this option, 32-bit float. For me, I got FL Studio and 32-bit float is in FL Studio. There's some programs that don't, um, you know, have that support, like, I believe Logic Pro X, it only has 24 and 16. But yeah, so make sure you know what bit format you should use, depending on what the engineer uses. I use FL Studio, so haha, all three of these could be used. Okay, um, just for this example, we'll just put 24. 5.12 sync, make sure everything is um, high quality, like it says right here. The higher, the better. And this is the most like critical thing you have to use split mixer tracks click that's what you have to use um this basically takes all the insert sounds and split them up that mean they'll all be in the separate file and it'll you know render out through the whole thing now i already have the files rendered out so i'm not going to do this that's why i put in the insert right here but what i'm going to do what i'm going to do is show you move the files so the files will look like this right here mm -hmm. it'll be a list there'll be some useless um pieces like let's say beat 2 and vocal 2 but that's because i put it into the send channel so that's that's all right to have as well as the master and the current the master is okay it's like you know this is all the stuff laid out but you don't really need it but yeah, and current is basically um, what what you know you're highlighted on at the time. So if my current was on this, it'll play, it'll record two of these. I don't know why they they put that in there, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. No, no, stop. There we go. Okay, now let me just show you how it looks while it is consolidated. All right, put this here. All right, the files are in. Let me go ahead and delete all this because I don't need that. And this is it. This is what it looks like once consolidated and put into the playlist. Everything is the same exact length and everything is in where it's supposed to be. Remember what I said about current, the master, vocals two, and even beat two. I don't need that. But yes, um, do these. It's a mind of a murderer. Yeah, it's a mind of a murderer. Yo, you were nobody with a body. Shoulda came with somebody. Now you're left with nobody. So yeah, that's basically it. Notice that there is that no space, remember? Oops. In between where we didn't do anything. Is this the one? Yo, you were nobody with a body. There's something else. There's somewhere else, but oh, oh, here it is. Wow. You were nobody. Somebody. There's space. Um. I guess the easiest one to re to see is this right here. Nothing in between. However, with consolidation, you do have it in the same exact place where it should be. Um, like I said, with the effects, the automation. It will be in there. So this is like the gross beat. Yeah. Yeah. It's in a audio file, not a um not an automation file. And same goes with the beats, the sounds. Yeah. You wouldn't know about Alright. 
So that's basically consolidating and how it should be done. Hopefully this video helps. If not, then I don't know, comment in the comment section. Let me know what is boggling your mind and I will help you. Um, for other DAWs, I do not know like the exact thing you should do, but yeah, that's basically it. All is left is to like compress it, put it in a zip folder and then send it through Google drive. If you don't know how, then, uh, you know, uh, just go to, you know, the Googles, Google drive and then. And that's, I don't know what's in this Google Drive, but yeah. If you don't know, just take it, drag it, drop it. But I'm not going to upload that. So yes, that is basically how you do it, what consolidating is, and how it should look. Um, Like I said, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. Like this video if it helped you. Share it to your homies if they need, you know, consolidating and need to send it to other mixers and masters. I am currently, you know, mixing and mastering music. I'm doing $20 each song. So, like, this is one song. I'll do it for $20. But I'm not going to do it for myself because, you know, I am my own mixer and master. I'm not going to pay myself, even though, you know, that sounds cool. But, yes, that's basically it. Like, favorite, comment your comment. And yeah, peace. Thanks for watching.